Hello friends, Carson here and welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I want to go ahead and take a look at a project or a website called fetch.ai and go ahead and tell you what it's about and what makes this project so interesting. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. We're already on the website, so let's take a look at it and see exactly what it offers. Now obviously, AI systems are all the rage nowadays for good reason. They are being developed at an exponentially fast rate, and because of that, you need some infrastructure for them. So, here we have Fetch.ai. It offers infrastructure for smart autonomous services. With Fetch.ai, you can build, deploy, and connect smart agents to automate Web3 services and reinvent business models. If that sounds cool, well, it's because Fetch.ai is, at least in my opinion, seems to be a very innovative project. So let's take a look at what it offers. So essentially you can build open services using automation and AI for supply chain, finance, travel, you name it, you can build it. Then once you have it built, you can deploy their unique agent-based technology to rapidly develop micro automations, and of course connect agents together to explore new business models. Basically you get to make your own rules. Agents will learn, predict, and act to undertake meaningful tasks in the real world. You can play with agent technology today and discover how to reinvent the way we live and work. And of course they have their agent verse which we'll talk about in a minute. So let's explore their tools. They have agents which are autonomous software code acting on the behalf of human organization or machine actors. Now the agent verse is essentially the sandbox for experimenting and learning using the browser IDE. So discovery of other agents and messaging and hosting features, which basically are going to be separated from actually being online, so your agents don't have to actually transact with the real world. Now micro agents are essentially microservice style agents, which will execute any business logic independently as well as interact with other agents to handle more complex business logic. And then of course, there are AEAs or Autonomous Economic Agent Framework Agents, which are basically monolithic style agents that are modular and capable of pieces such as connections, skills, protocols, contracts, and agents. Now let's talk about the AI aspect of this whole ordeal. So their collaborative learning system tech stack for decentralized machine learning offers CoLearn co and Axum, which is coming soon. Now, CoLearn is an open collective learning system that enables privacy-preserving collaborative machine learning and interfaces on the Fetch.ai network. And Axum is basically an enterprise version of this project. Now, they offer Web3, such as a Fetch wallet, as well as Fetch, which is source code for the validator nodes of the network. And they offer tools which is Cosm PY, or I don't know quite how you pronounce that, but it's a Python library to interface with the Fetch network, as well as a Python-based CLI tool for bootstrapping and on the network. Now, of course, if you want to develop with it, you go ahead and you know you can start reading on the developmentation and all the good information you need. But let's take a look at the ecosystem and what it offers. So basically, it's built using principles from a branch of AI known as multi-agent systems. What this means is obviously you're going to have multiple agents working in connection together. Obviously, they have CoLearn, which we've already talked about, but we can talk a bit about other of these projects. They have Axum, which we've talked about as well. Now, they have Atomix which essentially enables stablecoin holders to supply liquidity and receive a yearly yield composed of protocol generated returns and ATMX rewards. They have Mobix, which incentivizes the micromobility ecosystem with an incentive scheme for sus sustainable urban mobility. They have Katana X, which essentially Fetch.ai is part of the Katana X automotive network, which aims to create an open ecosystem for efficient and secure exchange of information through the automotive value chain. They have Resonate, um, they have Starlift, and they have a lot more. As you can see, it just goes on and on. And they have all these different projects connected together in their ecosystem. So obviously, you can use Fetch.ai 
to connect through all these technologies using agents and projects such as that. Now, obviously, you can also get FET, which is uh, essentially a crypto project as well. Now, the FET token is basically used on the Fetch AI network. So you can use it for staking, you can use it in your wallet. It works all those ways. But let's go ahead and talk about essentially what I think of this project and what it can offer to you. Obviously, AI is the next big thing. So the fact that Fetch.ai is essentially merging crypto as well as AI agents is definitely an innovative aspect of this that we need to be keeping an eye on. There are a going to be a lot of these projects in the future, but Fetch.ai seems to be on the cutting edge of it, at least at the moment, which definitely means they have potential to establish themselves as a dominant player in the market. That is going to do it for this video, though. I do think Fetch.ai is cool, and I'd recommend you check it out, though that isn't financial advice. But that's going to do it for the video, so remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next video.